Well, after the um, Philip K. Dix novella and the 1990 version, how did you approach this to do it differently? Um, I mean, it started from the script. The script was already um, quite a departure. It was very different. It was one of the reasons that I, 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 I got hooked by it. Um, I, I, was, I was skeptical going in because I'm a fan of the original. I didn't want to mm -hmm. replicate Verhoeven's style or Arnold's you know, take on it. And, um, and when I read the script, it actually it, it reminded me um, more of the, of the tone and the kind of quaid that I remember picturing when I read the short story, uh, much more of an everyman, and, and just had a, uh, a, a bit more of a, a realistic tone to it um, than, um, than the original one that, that at least I remembered at that time, of it being much more of, a, of an Arnold vehicle action. Um, you know, I actually went and saw, you know, I saw that movie when I was 14. Um, I, I, I was watching it as an Arnold, the next Arnold movie, mm. not so much the, uh, you know, a Philip K. Dick story sure. or even a sci-fi themed movie. It was more of an Arnold film. vehicle, yeah. yeah. Well, there's the prologue in, in this film. I, one thing I noticed was that, that Ireland very much emerged unscathed from the apocalypse. Was that something that Colin Farrell <laughs> and Fisk <laughs> no. on? No, that was something that was in the, uh, just in the original draft before yeah. that. And did you have a lot of conversations about what was real and what wasn't? Because, I, I mean, there, yeah. you could interpret things certain ways. Was there a, a reality that you decided on yourselves? There, there is. There is a, you know, I think as a, as a director, you, you, um, I, I love the idea of the, the you know, Philip K. Dick's story is, um, you know, it's open-ended. And part of what I love about his work, and not just in this, and in, 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 you know, in Blade Runner as well, and mm. um, uh, that he, he often questions reality, um, but he rarely answers it. And I, I really do like that. Um, it's what, I think, what makes a lot of science fiction very fun, and um, so I wanted to keep that alive. But as a director, I think you have to have a point of view because there's so much when you're actually, you know, every little detail and all the, you know, just in, within all the minutia and everything of like even how you're talking to the actors about how to perform, you know, they'll say, well, is this one should I, how much of the friend, sh like how good of an actor should I be yeah. as the friend if I'm also in one version, I'm the agent, do you want any of that coming through? How much of that do you want to come through? Um, and so, I definitely have a point of view about is this fantasy or is it reality? Because you can't just tell them, you know, figure it out for yourself. You have to have an answer. When you they have to have an answer. answer. I think it's a cheat if you just say, oh, because, and also it makes for, a, you know, storytelling. If you just go, oh, in the end of the day, whether it's, whether it's, you know, this decision or this decision, eh, it's all, it's all this or it's all, um, I think you can't. You have to take a position on it. But the film, the world looks looks amazing. I mean, did you have you. any reference points for that, for either from other fiction or maybe from existing technology things that were going a lot, a lot of existing technology of, um, or just where I would imagine that technology would go mm -hmm. if you had a society that was built like it is. A lot of the world and the design of it is from, informed from the plot that there are only two zones left on the planet to even exist. So humanity has had to um, coexist in these very small spaces, really, in terms of the the globe. So. Mm -hmm. If you were to do that, you're going to have a mix of all different types of architecture, um, which is really, it's, it's a fun thing to design because you can pull from everywhere. So the colony has a lot of the, like the habitat district, apartment district where Colin lives mm -hmm. is, um, you know, much more inspired from the, like the Brazilian habitats area, the, yeah. the Asian um, kind of market and, and, uh, and waterfront district. And, um, and I'd never seen a, f a future city that, 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 that had so much of a water front district. You know, I want to still have the boats in a, you know, mixing the boats with hover cars. Yeah. I, I love the old and the new and, and putting all, all that together. Um, well, the, the one thing I really liked about the film is that the trailers only didn't spoil as much as you get used to. I think trailers spoil far too much. Yeah. Was, that, was that on purpose? Was that something you were involved well, in? Well, it, it, it was in, in a way I was, um, I have, so I have like a love-hate relationship with any kind of marketing, not, mm. not, not with the studio, which just marketing a movie, I always feel like they show too much. Yeah. I think many directors do, but I just, um, and so I, well, the one thing I was glad about that um, at first I, you know, there were some homages that I had in the, in the film that just fun twists on things mm -hmm. that um, there's only a few of them in our movie, but they were using a lot of those for the marketing materials. Yeah. So actually the trailer came across like, wow, this looks like, you know, very familiar to the, to the, to the movie that we'd seen mm -hmm. because there's only a few you know, a few moments uh, that, are, that are homage scenes, but you put them all in one trailer, it looks like that's the movie. It's only bits of the movie. A trailer's three mm -hmm. minutes long. Um, so when people go to see the movie, um, at least they, they, they really have not seen what the movie really is. Um, so we were able to, able to save a lot of that. This is your retelling of an old story. If you had a chance to do another retelling, anything else that you could remake, what would it be? 
I don't think I'm up for remaking. Uh, there's there's too much comparison. There's too I've um, you know even the, the Die Hard was uh, was not a remake. There's so much of preconceived sure. notion of what it should be, what it shouldn't be, um, and uh, so I'm I'm really um, excited to to get uh, a couple of my own my own projects going again. Great. Thanks very much. Okay. Thank you. Good.